Cal State Fullerton's The Report with news, views, and info to go. I'm Christina Rasband. And I'm Sarah Fenton. And on today's show, we'll discuss the Concert Under the Stars fundraiser results, as well as the new species of lizard that was recently discovered by one of our very own Cal State Fullerton professors. We'll also delve into Governor Brown's opposition to the Cal State System's budget plan, and even bring you an update on a student who was recently charged with throwing explosives. And lastly, we'll go into depth about a CSUF program that received major funding, and also go into detail about a Cal State Fullerton club that helped kids in need. Last week was Cal State Fullerton's signature community outreach and fundraising event, Concert Under the Stars. The event stirred up 3,500 people in attendance, raising $260,000 through table sales and donations. Among these sponsors were Honda, Edison International, and Kaiser Permanente, who, without their contributions, would not have made the event possible. Performing during this night of dining and entertainment was singing group sensation The Preeminence, as well as various students and alumni from CSUF's College of the Arts. And in the end, the university believes to have received $25,000 to $30,000 for scholarships and student programs. They happened to have a wonderful fire show, uh, uh, fireworks show at the end. It was kind of like Disneyland on CSUF. That's awesome. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Published in Brevoria, a peer-reviewed journal at Harvard University was James Parham and Theodore Pappenfuss's most recent scientific discovery, the Aniella lizard. Located in some of the most unlikely places, such as at the end of the LAX runway and at an empty lot in downtown Bakersfield, four new species were unearthed. James Parham, an assistant professor of geology at Cal State Fullerton, and his partner Theodore Pappenfuss, a U.S. Berkeley researcher, were both able to find and identify this legless lizard, which only lives in soft sand and is no bigger than a pencil. That's awesome that they found these new species. Right? They're so tiny! <laughs> That's crazy! Recently, a meeting was held in the CSU Chancellor's Office in Long Beach concerning the CSU budget proposals on online education and bottleneck courses. At the Board of Trustees meeting attended by California Governor Jerry Brown, the board proposed an increase of the 2014-15 to budget to $250 million. The proposed increase in funding, if passed, would be intended to increase enrollment in CSU schools and support the maintenance and infrastructure of all Cal State campuses. However, Governor Jerry Brown refused to accept the proposal, stating that the budget of $142.2 million was already a 10% increase from the previous year. At the moment, this proposal is still in negotiations and will most definitely be used to discuss the importance of bottleneck courses, which are high demand classes with a high failure rate. $10 million of the budget has already been set aside to help decrease the rate of failure in these courses, and four new proposals have been pitched by the Committee of Education and Policy, which will also include the expansion of online courses. The board is set to make a decision in November. I guess there's a little bit of anticipation to see what happens with that budget. Yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. I guess so. Yeah. Coming up, a student was charged with two counts of felonies involving explosives. And we'll also discuss a CSUF program that received a very generous donation, as well as a CSUF club, which helped children in need. Don't go away. We'll be right back. It's in the way we work and the way we compete. It's in the way we reach out and why we dream. Titan Pride is at the heart of who we are. Whether it's on the field or on stage, in the classroom or in the boardroom, Titans reach higher. Welcome back. On September 24th, Cal State Fullerton student Vincent Hemsley pleaded not guilty to two felonies which included the possession and ignition of explosive devices in public. 
Hemsley is said to have thrown explosive bottles off his balcony in the Sycamore Apartments, which also contained cleaning fluids and has even confessed to throwing similar contraptions weeks prior to that. After obtaining a search warrant and investigating the 19-year-old's residence, police discovered evidence of materials that could be used to create these homemade explosives. At the bail of $1 million, Vincent Hemsley is currently being held at the Orange County Jail and is set to await trial for these charges. That's scary and definitely something you don't mess around with. No, you don't take lightly to stuff like that. No. In recent news, Cal State Fullerton's Gear Up program received a very generous donation to help in their goal to increase the amount of low-income undergraduates who are ready to take the next step in higher education. The Gear Up program, which stands for Gaining Early Awareness and Readiness for Undergraduate Programs, hopes to increase these numbers by offering summer enrichment programs, tutoring, and college tours as well as offering information on financial aid and scholarship opportunities. At the moment, Gear Up works with six schools in the Anaheim Unified School District. Among these schools are Anaheim, Catella, Loera, Magnolia, Savannah, and Western. Six different schools? Yeah. That's amazing that all these kids are getting the opportunity for education. Yeah, it really is great. Definitely. Yeah. On the second Wednesday of every month, all students are open to attend an Operation Smile meeting, which was just formed last fall here at Cal State Fullerton. The goal of Operation Smile is to strive to generate enough money for one pallet surgery per semester so that children can receive a corrective cleft lip. Although a child's ability to eat, speak, and smile is directly affected by this condition, with this simple one-hour surgery, it can be amended. That's really awesome that they're helping these kids. Yes, definitely. Yeah. really is. Well, all right. This concludes this week's episode of The Report. I'm Christina Rasband. And I'm Sarah Fenton. Have a great week.